let's <clears throat> get this thing started. And uh, I've spent so much time in this game trying to make sense of it. Um, it's really hard to do that. It is r really hard. I, um, well, let's do for profit, so, because for fun it's just that. You're just in a room until you feel like playing something else pretty much okay first of all the controls <laughs> the there's the I guess default well, I wasn't say preferred but that's definitely not the case and I forgot to change it the default control set where you use the six axis aspect of the controller to move around which makes things really difficult <laughs> um yeah, that, that already is a huge problem, um, but it's not even the worst problem. Once you get to somebody to engage in combat, because I'm not going to say hit them really, because, like, okay, that's me holding down R2, that little wobbly limb sticking out there, and I guess you can punch stuff, but it doesn't really happen. <laughs> Half the time. Um, you can you can grab things, but it's really wonky trying to do that. Um, I don't even remember the controls for that. But yeah, and you can grab some of the smaller stuff, like some of the small barrels. I thought you could grab chairs. I guess not. It's not letting me. But the whole purpose of the game, for one, is to attack the other parade creatures here and knock pieces of dough off of them. But if I can't hit them, then I can't get dough. So, yeah, the game's pretty much screwed right there. And AI doesn't seem like it knows what it's doing either. And there is music. There is one song. I just turned it off because I couldn't take it anymore. It's like weird pub music. And it's, again, one track. And it just repeats over and over again. Just matter if you're in the menus, in the game itself. It's just, just bad. <laughs> but okay. Back to the controls, which are horrible. Like I said, you have L2 and R2 to kind of hold your hands out there and try to interact with stuff. Let's see if I can pick up one of these. Anything over here. Yep, yeah, okay. See, smaller bit. Damn it. Smaller barrels I can pick up, but even in throwing them, they're hard to aim, and I don't even know if they're even in contact. I'm not even sure how to throw them exactly. And there's a analog stick based control scheme, but it doesn't really make too much things better. You can just get closer to stuff and kind of paw at them because, it's, as you saw earlier, punching really doesn't happen like it should. The other stage you have access to, you start off in rooms where you kind of closed in and like a staircase that you can fight under. And if you max it out with like eight characters, you you will see contact, but it's very ambiguous. You don't know who's hitting who or what's what. are set for this this thing. Yeah, the analog control scheme just it, it does make it a little easier, but yeah, it will probably just frustrate you more because you feel like you should be doing something. You can 
couch, which seems pointless <laughs> as well. Um, using the spear of a person as a male one, you speed up and you can fly for some reason. Just like catch fire. It's, it doesn't really make any sense. Okay, that that was a a match. I call it that. So, gained seventy two pieces though. I only lost fifty nine. So, <clears throat> it's in a plus by thirteen. So. And all the dough you get, you can use in a tabs option here to unlock other stuff, like other things to create your bread people <clears throat> and um, you can unlock other stages looks, looks like there's only five stages total and all the different custom customizable options um, grant you different abilities or strengths whatever in the game I don't know how um, yeah I don't know how useful some of the stuff is. Since I've only played the nine for fun version like three or four times. Most time I was sitting in the the timeless version trying to figure everything out. teach me something a full group of people here we'll go to the other stage too Switch the back and then realize it. Oh, uh, it's trying to tell me, I guess, when I can hit stuff and when to try to do it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be helping too much. Each ball of dough. towards targets for it. Well, maybe with this being you know, a club based thing, maybe I'm supposed to be trying to pull from this shit, but it's, um, I don't know how much that would help. I mean, the, the idea of it there is a lot of potential in the idea, just the execution of what they did is not, not good. If you could clearly hit stuff without having to hit the buttons and hope it happens, that would make a big difference. Just standard control controls will make a difference and not 
you know, you were trying to use emotion control me. And even with using analog controls, it doesn't make it that much. Frame rate doesn't necessarily have to be there, but it would it wouldn't hurt. of a chaotic thing as this is, split screen isn't going to benefit any, anybody in any sense. That's it.